Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about the pre-meeting planner. Now, what in the world is a pre-meeting planner? Now, I have a confession to make. I hate doing these things because I am the least administrative person in the universe, potentially. Here's what I know though. If I don't do this pre-meeting planner, my execution in the sales call goes way, way down. So let's really leverage this pre-meeting planner. Now, there's really four stages to this pre-meeting planner. Stage number one is going to be set the objectives. What are the objectives? Oops. What are the objectives for this meeting? Now, when I look at these objectives, I need to think about what is the purpose of this meeting? Um, what do they want to achieve out of it? Meaning whether it's a prospect, whether it's a customer, whether it's an internal customer, whoever it is, what do they want to get out of this meeting? What do they want to achieve? And the other thing is, um, what do we want to make sure that we achieve? Because if we don't have that clear end in mind, we really are going to struggle with how to get there. I mean, think of it this way. If I say, hey, you want to go to the beach? And you go, sure. Well, am I going to take you to Siberia in the middle of the winter? Am I going to take you down to the Bahamas? Or am I, am I going to take you to a, a local lake beach? Completely different, right? How much time I need off, what I'm going to pack, how long it's going to take there, modes of transportation. So depending on the objective, I want to start with the end of mind, I can reverse engineer this. So what do they want to get out of it? What do we want to get out of it? Then once I figure that out, then how long is it going to take? How much work can we give beforehand on our end? What do we need to prep for this? And then on their end, what do they need, right? To, can I send them homework to review a video like this or maybe a white paper? or something that you want them to know as the benchmark, the foundation for the for what this meeting is going to cover. So we give them the, that homework. And then what information are they going to um, want to achieve out of this, right? So what information do I need to give and get? So not only their objective, what do they want to gain out of this uh, decisions made, but also what uh, what information that we need to give and, and get. Then last thing here is, all right, if all of that happens, what decisions do we want to make? Now, by starting with the end in mind, what would be an ideal situation? If you have a short transaction, maybe it's a one call close. If you have a long, really complicated, I need to bring multiple decision makers into this, and I need, I don't know, 11, 14 uh, meetings to get this thing done over the next couple of months, then maybe a next step is a next meeting with that particular person that I'm talking to, or maybe we bring in one or two additional people in. So depending on the decisions made, what is that ideal? And then what is the minimal acceptable to keep this opportunity going? Or else we're going to close this out to a closed loss, nurture them and bring them back whenever the timing is better. So what are the decisions that should be made by both sides? And then what action items are going to come out of this? So when we're done, you said you'll do this. I said, I'll do this. We'll confirm by and everything gets done. So that is number one. What are the objectives? Then number two, and you've maybe seen this video already, is hashtag next steps. Once we figure this all out, how do I convey this to the person with whom I'm meeting? How do I share with them what those next steps are? And then once I lay that out with, hey, thanks so much for your time today. Um, I, I wanna make sure that we cover your agenda items. What do you wanna make sure we cover? Here's our agenda items. Uh, for, for completely okay if we find out together that this is not a fit, so we get their no, I get my no, yes, what yes means, ideal and then fall back. And then the last one is fear. Hey, my biggest fear is we don't set any action items out of this, right? And then we waste time. So that's hashtag next steps. You can check out that video. And then preparation. What preparation? The third step that we need to do is preparation. In order for us, in order for us to be able to complete these objectives, what questions should we anticipate asking them? What questions should we anticipate having to answer for them? Um, who should participate in this meeting? What do we need anything else in this? Slides, a demo, a technology person, a subject matter expert, whatever the case may be is that preparation. And the last of the four steps is going to be simulation, right? So how do we do simulation of this meeting, and I'm really going to encourage you this, and it might sound wishy-washy or a little bit hoity-toity or a little bit, you know, mumbo-jumbo, whatever you want to call. Let me really encourage you, though. It's called practice in the theater of your mind. And when you see athletics 
do this all the time, especially in the Olympics. Whenever you see a highly trained Olympic athlete doing this, they're practicing perfectly in their mind. So see yourself in this meeting, running it smoothly, being on top of time, being on top of all of those answers, feeling yourself completely at ease with this, even with the strongest of personalities, see yourself handling that well. And so we're going to simulate, we're going to put ourselves in the simulation of that sales meeting or in, in that meeting, especially if it might be a little bit contentious, we're going to put ourselves in that situation and see ourselves, feel ourselves pulling it off perfectly and with complete calm and ease. So having that proper mindset. So those are the four steps of a pre-meeting planner. One, what are my objectives? Two, how am I going to convey those objectives and my hashtag next steps? Three, what preparation do I need to do? And then the last one, four, put myself in a simulation. How am I going to simulate this call to make sure it runs smoothly? So that is the pre-meeting planner. Get after it. Thanks.